Hello, everyone. All right, so I am back with a Amazon Returns bin store haul. So today is Tuesday, July 2nd, and I went on $1 day. So I only went to one store. I went to store number one, and I didn't really get a lot. Um, I put back a lot because um, I kind of set a limit for myself and how much I was going to spend. So let's go ahead and get into the haul here. So the first two items are similar but different. These are Taylor Swift era pouches. Um, now, they had a whole bunch of these, and I was going to go ahead and get several of them because I knew my nieces, um, one in the Philippines, and then three of them here, um, and of course, to one of my friends, but I was only able to get two. I'm pretty sure they're going to have these again next week because it seems like whenever they get this kind of stuff, it, you know, it starts showing up week after week. I didn't go last week, so I don't know if they had them then, but I'm pretty sure that they did. So this is what the first pouch looks like, and it's pretty big. So I like that it says, you know, may your next era be the best one yet. And it's on both sides, and it's a pretty sizable pouch. Um, it's pretty good quality. It's like a canvas material. So, you know, you can throw in a lot of stuff. I'm curious. Uh, I don't think I have one here in the open. Oh, yeah, I do. Hold on. Um, I'm curious if a TN would fit in it. Hold on. Let me just pull this out. Okay, this is my um, brown TN. So, hmm, I think it would. Because if so, uh, well, it's going to be a kind of a tight fit. Ugh, you'd have to really kind of like work it in there. Yeah, it's kind of a tight fit, but it fits. <laughs> it would make a good TN pouch, you know, but I'd want something where I can just easily put it in and out, pull it in and out. So that is the first one. And then the second one here, this was the only one that I found like this. And, um, if they had more, I would have gone ahead and got more. So this one says we were both young when I first saw you, which I think is cute. Um, it's different in terms of like, you know, the artwork, like the images, but this one is even, this is like a coated canvas. And even though it is smaller, it's pretty sizable. You know, you can fit a lot of stuff in there. It's on both sides. And yeah, I mean, it's a really good all around pouch, you know. Now they did have, where else did they have in terms of pouches? There was a couple of other ones. There was a, a Beyonce one, which was kind of weird, um, but it was only one versus all the Taylor Swift ones. Uh, and then there was this other one. I can't remember what the theme was, but I only had seen one. So there was mostly Taylor Swift stuff. I was really looking for the totes, but they didn't have any. So hopefully they'll have them next week because especially with this, with the era, which is the current tour, um, it, really, it would be really good to have. And I, like I said, I want to get one, especially for my niece in the Philippines, because she is the big Swifty in the family. And um, she was wanting stuff from the current tour. Too bad that they didn't have this when she was visiting in April because she would have definitely snapped it up. Um, but yeah, because I first I was like, I'm not even going to be able to mail it to her. But my mom was like saying that I should get it anyways because they're going to the Philippines next year. I don't know. I may go. I may not. I don't know. But she can always give it to her for me. So yeah, so we got those. And then these next two once again, for my nieces um, that are interested in K-pop. So these are idol books, um, K-pop idol card books. Like it holds like the, um, the little cards. I've shown them on here before when, when I've found them. They're like the playing cards, but with like different, you know, from different bands and stuff. And it has like group pictures, individual pictures. And so... Um, it's like collecting, you know, like baseball cards and stuff. Um, and I've given several packs to my nieces and, um, 
I've also collected like the albums and stuff like this because I can use them also for ATC, which I have in, I don't even know where my album is here in my little setup, <laughs> but um, I like that it's, oh, so it even comes with car, yeah, protectors. That's really good. Okay. It's because they had some open ones, but um, somebody had like, you know, somebody had obviously they'd opened it, taken out the stuff and um, these were scattered around because they're supposed to come with, okay, I see. So this one in particular already had them placed in. So that's pretty good. So it's, you know, this one says that it can hold a hundred cards. So, um, cause like right now, the one particular niece that has the biggest collection, she's um, already gone through one of the albums that I gave her. And um, I had to give her another album to hold the latest amount of cards that she's she's collected. I, get, I did give her a pack for her birthday. I don't know how many cards were in there, but she told me that her album was already stuffed. So yeah, I went ahead and gave her another one. So we've got that one there. And then this pink one, um, because her sister, her sister is into K-pop just as much as her, but I don't think she collects it as much as, um, the other one does. Oh, where is it? I don't want, oh man, I'm trying to figure out how to open this without tearing it up because I want to be able to store it. Where's the sticker part? That's the infuriating part sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that up. It's already sorry for all the crinkling here. Um, so same thing, but it's in pink. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick this because I don't want to lose um, the elastic to keep it closed. So I mean, if they get more of these, I may go get, go ahead and get a couple more because it's really good to store ATC cards. Um, cause they're exactly the same size. These look like they're just a, a tad bigger, which is okay. You know, what's kind of interesting is that it didn't come with this, the pink one. That's, that's odd, but that's okay. I don't think they're really going to be using that anyways. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I just like the fact that it's the composition, you know, book looking <laughs> the type. And so, um, yeah, so when they tell me that they're almost out, I will go ahead and give um, these to them. But like I said, I want to get another one just like this for myself because I think it's just too adorable to not have. And you can't beat one dollar, you know? So I might go back tomorrow maybe and look and see if they have another one that was packaged up. I think they did. I remember putting back some of these because I threw it in my cart and then when I was editing the cart, I put them back. So all right. So we got those two. Now I don't know why I keep buying them, but every time I see them, I always get them. So these are chargers for um, USB-C chargers. And these in particular, you can use for two. So um, it's always good to just have extra because you can use them for Android and for um, for iPhone. So got those, two for a dollar. It's better than buying them from a Dollar Tree, you know? Okay. So I got this. Now, this is actually for um, water bottle. And I use Iron Flask, which I also purchased from um, the bin stores. This was two years ago, in fact. Um, they were getting a ton of them. Hold on, let me grab mine here because I brought it up because I'm thirsty. Um, so... This one right here in particular goes with, or actually I have this already. I had purchased from the bin store. Um, I have it on my 40 ounce canister that I use to bring to the gym. 
and that I'm going to replace it with this one here. Sorry about that. My battery died. Good thing I was looking at the screen when it died. <laughs> okay. So let me make sure my mic is still on. Okay. So as I was saying, I had um, purchased one of these from the bin store before, and it is on my iron flask. That is a 40 ounce. And I bring that to the gym. So, but my everyday one, like the one I would carry to work or I would, you know, here at home, I have two of these. These are um, 64 ounce. I have one that's in a different color. It's like a teal to blue. This one's like the limited edition. And my 40 ounce one is um, same one like this, as you can see here, the way it's iridescent. So this is a 64 ounce. And yes, I can drink an entire one of these in one day. Sometimes I'll fill it up again and still drink maybe about half of it. Um, so these are right here. So I think this one, let me see. Yeah, this one I ordered on Amazon. This is the official. No, it's not an official. I just remember it's a, it's a generic, whatever you want to call it. But as you can see here, it's like this is starting. I don't know why it's starting to come apart because it used to be really tight, but now it's starting to come loose and I wanted to replace it. Um, I don't know. I may, because this is like a rainbow. I don't mind rainbow. Um, but it's always good to have the backup because I was worried that this might come apart. So that's why when I saw it, I was like happy because I haven't seen them in a while. Uh, two years ago, they used to get tons and tons and tons of these iron flasks. And I, at first I didn't know what they were or, and I was getting annoyed because they're really big and heavy and um, in the box that is. And at the time I was just using, you know, the popular plastic bottle ones that came in like, um, what do you call it? They came in different colors. They were really popular during the pandemic and they would show on the side, they're clear. They would show the, the ounces, you know, so you'd know how much you drank, you know, throughout the day. And then I realized, you know what? I'd rather have the steel ones, um, aluminum, whatever it is, than that because these are double insulated and they keep the drinks a lot, you know, cold, kind of like a Stanley or Hydro Flask. Actually, Hydro Flask, I think at the time was the popular one as well. So yeah, so I went ahead and got this. Um, the great thing is that these will fit whatever size that I get. So I found this and um, I'm really happy that I did because I am now into collecting patches, patches and like individual stickers of places and, you know, cute things. So I need to get a trash bag threw mine out already. This one right here is Joshua Tree National Park. I haven't been there yet, um, but I still like the patch and it for a dollar, I, you know, I thought, what, why not? Actually, let me take these out because I don't, I don't want to leave them in. Take the bags take up so much room. I'm going to have to also check to make sure that they still work. I'll be back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So, oh, let me put this in. So I want to make sure that since the battery died, I have to charge that one again. Okay, so let's move on to the next items. Oh, let's see. Okay. So I did find skincare. The last three are going to be skincare. Um, this one right here, I looked it up and this is actually pretty pricey on Amazon. Um, Astora, it's the Addo Barrier Cream, uh, Cream. Yeah. Cream. Creme. <laughs> and this one, hold on here. What was it? Goes for um, quite a bit. Now, I'm not going to use this right away. Hold on. I'm going to look it up on Amazon. Um, I'm probably going to save this for um, the, probably for winter, like in between the seasons, I guess, um, right here. So on Amazon, it's right here, and it goes for... $31. Now this is a moisturizing cream that will strengthen your skin barrier. 
So this is really good for dry and sensitive skin. Now, I don't have dry skin. I actually have oily, I guess, oily, I'm sorry, combo oily skin. But in the winter, my skin does, so for some reason, dry out. And so I think this is going to help um, just as a moisturizer. Um, I mean, it's only a dollar and there's no smell. Hmm, I wonder how much is left in there. But yeah, it's more of a, like a gel, a cream gel. And it does feel very moisturizing. So we'll see how it works on my skin. I, When it comes to new products, my skin is not sensitive. So I don't break out that much, um, which is a good thing. So this next one here is by MeBook. And um, it's a Korean brand. I hope I'm in focus. Um, it's for this, it's Sika Redness Solution Cream, Correct and Soothe. So this is really good for um, like breakouts. If you have a breakout, I'm trying to see if I have a cutter here and I don't. So I'm going to have to use my box cutter. I need to put one up here. I don't know what happened to the one that I did have, the little cloud one. <clears throat> Um, as I've said in my previous video, I'm going to be doing a, um, a whole video on skincare. Well, specifically um, sunscreen, because there are several of them that I am rotating um, through. And the video is really going to focus more on like mature skin because I am 50 plus and you don't really see that many, or at least I haven't really looked, but um, when it comes to like, especially Asian skincare, it's always the young girls that are doing it, young 20s, you know, um, that are posting videos. And um, yeah, so I want to show, especially with Asian skin, but it can be for all, you know, all skins, <laughs> all races, uh, or all ethnicities, um, what sunscreens work really good, especially if you have combo or oily skin. So this one right here, let's see. From what I've read on Amazon, it's a green tint. So when you have a breakout, especially if um, if the pimple's red, so it's green, so it's going to neutralize it and then also help soothe. So this will, well, that's a lot that I put on there, even though it was a little. As you can see, I'm kind of working it in. It's supposed to like, yep, fade into your skin tone. So let's get up closer. Oops. There is a cast. There's a white cast to it. So this will probably be good more for like the winter. Um, and just make sure you're not, you know, going to be taking selfies or pictures while wearing it. I do see a white cast to it. So you really only are going to use it just on like just a specific spot. You can see it. And you can see where it is on my skin. So, you know, I thought I would go ahead and try that because I have had some hormonal breakouts. I'm in premenopause and it's been a lot of it's been on my chin, which is so aggravating. I've had probably since April, the end of April, I've probably had like five pimples on my chin. And, you know, and some of them are like the really nasty, big, like hard, you know, pimples. Um, so I've had to, um, I've had to change my skincare routine and, um, try some new products and it's helped tremendously. So, all right. So this last one here is a brand that I am familiar with because I'm using, currently using the sunscreen by this company, Sun by Me. Now this one here, I actually saw this online just a couple of days ago in one of the Facebook groups about Korean skincare. It's retinal intense. It's an eye cream. Now I don't really have that big of a problem with eye bags or with lines, fine lines, um, under my eyes. I really don't even have much wrinkles, but my mom definitely does. So I was thinking we would try this on her and see what the results are, you know, um, because this is, yeah, it's retinal and we'll just see, just see how it works. If it works out really well, then we know 
what to what you know what she needs to be using um because she's always asking me you know oh, her bags her eye bags are really bad so i wanted to go ahead and um try it out and see so then we can be on the lookout for this again now i'm going to insert probably some pictures here hopefully if i can figure it out um, some pictures of some items that I had um, seen over at the bin store that I would have bought had they not opened the box and taken the product. There are probably two items. One would be the Innisfree or Innisfree um, hyaluronic acid, I think, serum. And then the other one would be a, um, it's like a sunscreen compact. Um, and I had literally just seen that posted um, on, I think it was on Reddit and another um, Facebook group and somebody was raving about it. And I was just like, I was so shocked that I, you know, just saw it there at the store and the box was empty and I was so pissed. And generally what happens is when somebody's opened the box, you know, this particular store, store number one, they're really good about catching people that open boxes. Um, I'm pretty sure that these people took the products, like stole them, because um, typically when somebody opens a box, they open it up, look at it, and then throw it back on the bin. I looked all over the bin, did not see it. And so I went to the next bin, still didn't see it. And so I was just like pissed because those were definitely two items that were, you know, worth some money, like $20 or more. And I could have got it for a dollar. And yeah, they stole them out of the box. So kind of sucks. I probably should start going on $2 a day, but I don't want to spend $2, you know. Um, I may go, we'll see. Maybe I'll go on Friday just to see what they have. I'm not going to purchase anything, but just so I kind of have a heads up. And if so, maybe I'll go ahead and I'll film it. If I do, then I'll add it to the end of this, um, this you know, video so you guys can see what it's like on a Friday, which is the um, restock day. Um, when they put all the new stuff out and how much stuff they have on those bins. It's, it's crazy. I'm not going to go at opening because it's just too intense. There's too many people. People are like literally lined up outside the door and they're in the parking lot. Like that's how long the line is. So um, I'll probably go like around 11 or noon because that's when it, yeah, it's like dead <laughs> by then. All of the resellers, you could say, are already, you know, have already gone and picked through what they, what they think is like the best stuff that they can resell. So, yeah. So this is my haul for, um, the Amazon returns and bin store for this week. All right, guys. So have a great 4th of July and a great week and a great day. Bye.